In this video we're going to learn about Adobe Spark. First, in order to get to the site, you would go to https colon forward slash forward slash spark.adobe.com. What Adobe Spark is, it's a video editing program. It's all done online, it's free, um, it's not super powerful, but it may be enough to just be able to create those video projects that you would like to be able to create. So, once you've arrived at the site, if you have an Adobe account or you've already been here, you would click log in. If you don't have an Adobe account or you've never been here before, you would click start now for free and create an account. I've created an account, so I'm going to click log in and log in with my Adobe ID. And I'm going to sign in. When you arrive at Adobe Spark's dashboard, its home page, any of your previously created Spark videos will be showing up right here in the dashboard. To create a new one, you would just come up to the plus sign and you'd click on the plus sign. And you would choose video. And I'm going to skip all of this. I don't need that. There are some templates that you can use for creating your video, but let's start from scratch because we'd like to be unique with what we create. It's just letting you know there's some new themes available. When you arrive here, you just have your windows down on the bottom, your tiles, your cards, whatever you'd like to call them, along the bottom, and this is where you're going to add your content. Here's the first one of the slides. That's what I call them as a slide. If I click the plus, I'm adding a second, another one after it. So I'm going to click on the first, and I have a choice. I can add a video here, text, or a photo, so I'm going to click on text and just type. This is the first page. Over on the side, under layout, I have full screen. I can split the screen so I can have text on one side. I can have an image on the other side. You can also do a caption, although I haven't found the caption feature to be very um, useful. It doesn't work quite the way you would expect it to. But one nice feature is the title and text. So we're going to leave this on the screen for right now. You'll notice down in the bottom it says two seconds. If I click on this, I can make it longer. I can go up to 10 seconds if I would like, but I'm only going to go four seconds with this one. If I press and hold the microphone, I would be able to record what's on the screen. So let me give that a try here. This is the first page. And I let go. And then I can click the play button. This is the first page. And you're able to see that that ends up working. And there was some nice music in the background. I'll show you how to add that in a little bit. Now, if I come over to this little plus sign on the side, I could add a video that would play in the background of this, or I could add a photo also. But we're not going to on this page. Let's do that on the next. So I go over to this little page or this little slide over here. Again, I could add text, a video, or a photo. Let's add a photo. I can either look for some photos if I would like, or I can upload my own. This is particularly useful if you're doing some type of a research project. I have some inside of my pictures folder, so I'm going to add one. Let's add the Milky Way. It uploads, and now it's in here. If you would like to zoom in on a specific part of this photo, say the top of this mountain here, you just go in the upper right corner, click on the Edit tool, and I'm just going to press and hold the zoom in. And then I can grab onto the screen and I can slide that around. So there we go. If I'd like to come back, I just go to the minus magnification to zoom out. Oop, I came out a little too far. So then I can just zoom back in till it fits the screen. Again, I can change the length of time that this is on the screen. I could record some more narration over the top of this. So let's try that. This is a starry sky. Play it back. This is a starry sky. 
there we go. So now we have our first page, we have our second page or slide, and let's add one more so I can show you how to add a video. So I click my plus and I'm able to come over here for that. And you'll notice up came my options. Let me click video. I just need to look for a video that I happen to have and I'm just going to choose this virtual background right here. Let's see how that looks. One of the little foibles for um, Adobe Spark is that you only have a 30 second maximum time per slide or per page. You'll notice this clip happens to be 40 seconds long. You don't need to worry, that's taken care of. So I added this and I'm going to save it. And now we're back onto our page with the video clip that I had. But now remember, it's only 30 seconds. I'd like it to be able to go a little bit further. So I'm going to add another slide to this. Click on the video I just uploaded. Now here's a tricky part. You have to hover and click in the upper right hand corner of that video. And then you'll see the editing tool again appear. I click on it and I'm going to come down to this continue clip. And now I'm going to extend it for the rest of its time out and I click save again. Now we have the full video appearing on the screen. If we would like to edit this even further you can come in here and you can delete or duplicate or start playing your video from here which we don't want to do but I could come again back in that upper right hand corner and notice some of the tools that I have here where it says trim. If I click on that particular tool I can come in and I can just trim what I want to be able to have play so it's not the full length of time. So notice that I just chopped off quite a bit of it and when I click save again now it has trimmed that down to be only six seconds long. That's a very useful feature. Now we can come back in and while this video is playing I can again record over the top of it or possibly this video clip has its very own uh, sound, its very own audio that's playing with it which would go over. If you would have say a four minute video all you do is you just keep extending it from your page or your slide to slide as it goes across. It isn't difficult to do, but it does take a little bit of practice. On a photo such as this one, we've added sound to it and you can see down below here there's an audio wave so we've added sound. Let's say we'd like to add title and text to this. I click on text. I can add my text to it and when I click outside of it, there it is. Now you'll notice when I hover over the top a little hand appears. I can grab a hold of this title and I have some motion I can use with it. You may also notice that there is underneath it another box. If I click this plus I can add a subtitle underneath it. See how that works? We can do that. If you want to get rid of that, just click. You'll notice it's highlighted. I hit my backspace and it's gone. And I can still grab this and drag it around. At any time, you can preview your video to see how your video is working. If you would like to add music to the entire presentation, I'm going to click on my very first page again, or my very first slide, click on music, and I have a choice of different musical styles that I can use. So I'm just going to choose uh, places I've been. So I click that. It's now assigned music over my entire presentation. You can also change your theme. You have a choice with this. That will change your text that you have. So how about if we go with this one that says Grace. Notice how it changed right here. If we come down to Mega that changes on the screen also. It changes the background color of these. So we'll leave it as this. The nice thing in Spark Video is that you're able to be automatically saving it as you go along. You don't have to worry about saving anything. It's automatically happening. Now 
you can come up and you can preview the video if you'd like. Let's take a look. This is the first page. This is a starry sky. And then you'll see right here, this was that video that was playing and it ties across. My entire video is 43 seconds long. I can pause it, I can exit out, and then I can come back in and do some further editing if I would like. To create my own self-standing video from this, I just come up to share and I go right here and I click download. But first, I can add my title to it. I'm just going to be real simple here. Pick a category if you'd like to. Well, you do have to add one. I'm going to choose education. You can add a subtitle if you would like, who the author of this is. You can shut this off also so no one will see who the author is. And you could create a link so people could link over to it. But I want a self-sustaining one that I can really show to people. So I click download and you'll notice the download progress here. I'll be back with you in just a little bit after it's completed its download. All right, my video has completed its download. You'll see down in the quarter down here, you'll see where it happens to be. So what I'd like to do right now is I'm going to uh, show where it is in my download folder. I'll have it right here. If I right click and I copy it, I can save it to a folder. And then I would be able to save that folder into my OneDrive account or upload it to my teacher's account if so asked. But let me right now, since I'm not going to really be saving this, let me just open it with Windows Media Player. This is the first page. This is a starry sky. And then the video is playing right here. I have a standalone video. This is very, very nice. Adobe Spark is simple to use, as hopefully you've seen demonstrated in this video. Don't be afraid to give it a try and see what you think. It's something that you can use at home. You'd be able to use it at school because it is online. Just save the clips that you would like to use before you start working on it, because that will definitely make everything quicker and easier to use. So thanks for watching this video about Adobe Spark. I hope you find it fun and entertaining to use.